<laughs> Alright, you gotta show us your new bike now. Yeah, let's go show you. What inspired you to buy this bike? Oh man, it's, it's just my dream bike. I originally got the iron, had to get that rid of. Never thought this bike was gonna be available for me. Today's the day. And here she is. Here she is. I got goosebumps for you. Yeah. <laughs> Here she is. Congratulations, sir. Yes. Congratulations as well. Thanks. <laughs> 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 I gotta take my bell off of that one. <laughs> yeah, transfer the bell. <laughs> nice. <living> right? <laughs> she said he's living right now. Why do you not have a bike? Because I just got it. I've had it for like two weeks. No, I've had it for like a week. It's been barely over a week. Shut up, Josh. Get away from me. Crime life. Oh, I felt so bad. I had to Woo! <laughs> oh. Hey, you just slow your roll. Woo! Listen to that sewing machine. Shut up. Yeah, all shut up. <laughs> All right, guys, so Brian here is from Miami. Just bought my bike. Now we're going to pair up on the Senate. He's going to take it for a quick test ride real quick. How do I connect it? Hello. All right. All right. I got it. Cool. All right, cool. So I was just introducing viewers, saying this is Brian from Miami, and he bought my Loretta S. So what's up, Brian from Miami? <laughs> oh, man, I'm just excited to get this on. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll just take it for a quick rip around our little test ride area. Just for you to get acclimated before you gotta throw it on a trailer and drive all the way back down. Ah, uh, looks good. I was telling the guys, I'm like, this is kind of a bittersweet moment. <laughs> it is a bittersweet moment. <laughs> but I'm stoked for you, man. I'm really happy. So you've seen a bunch of the videos. You know where we do test rides at, right? Yeah, yeah, I see the little course. Yep. Where we take it to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> So what uh what got you interested in the Lowrider S? The Lowrider S, I've always loved it. I've always loved watching. Oh, hold on, I'm getting used to this power. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are attracted to the styling of it. This all blacked out look. Ooh, that thing is loud. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if you want to pull ahead of me, this is pretty much a little test area. I'll tell you which way to turn and all that. Alright, cool. Uh, this, is a whole, this is a whole different experience right here. Yeah. So you're coming from a Sportster Iron 1200, right? An Iron 1200 was my first bike. It's a good first bike. Yeah, I know. It was a great first bike. I I learned a lot of maneuvers with that one. I, you know, I actually trained with the, with the retired uh, cop. He actually... Uh, he was a police chief and he rode uh, he rode his Harley for about 20 years in the service. So he's the one that taught you to ride? Oh, uh, well, I, I did. I did training with him afterwards. Oh, cool, man. So in addition to your MSF course, you also took extra, like, specialized classes? Yep. That's cool, man. Well, that makes me happy to know. Less chance of that uh, bike I, going down. <laughs> I'll be taking care of this. So, like you were saying, uh, the thing about the Lowrider S you liked was what? Oh, you know, when I first got into motorcycles, I actually wanted a crotch rocket. I actually wanted a crotch rock, I wanted a Kawasaki. And I got into watching a lot of these, uh, there's a lot of West Coast videos, and I saw this Dyna, and it was just a beautiful bike. And I finally got into learning what a Dyna was. And I started doing a lot of research on Hardys, and I saw how comfortable people sat, and they compared it to, like, you know, I slunched over a crotch rocket thing. I, right. You know, I, I just grew out of that, so. True that. And I saw the Dyna, and then when Hardy came out with the Iron 1200, 
it, it, it was it was like a little mini diner to me. <laughs> That's the way I saw it. I saw a little fender on the, the what is it called? The speed screen? Yeah, yeah, speed screen. I saw, yeah, and it, I don't know, it just caught my eye. Yeah, it's funny, man, because whenever I went from my uh, 883 iron to this one, it just it just felt like a big sportster, man. Especially with like the slightly forward mid controls. Yeah. It just feels like a big, like, like a sportster on steroids. So it's definitely like the next progressive move up. <laughs> How's it feel? Wow! <laughs> the power! Dude, it's so much more than the Sportster. Especially like in terms of low-end torque. It took a the fraction of the time it would take the Sportster. Yeah. Is that a, is that a diaper? It was a diaper. <laughs> it looks good, man. Yes, yeah, this thing's beautiful. Congratulations, sir. Hey, thanks, man. Congratulations on yours as well. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's been fun so far. Everybody's picking on me as we're leaving the dealership. Oh. Picking on me about my exhaust. They're like, haven't you had it like two weeks? You still have that stock exhaust on there? <laughs> I'm busy, man. But yeah, man, you got any questions on the bike? Uh, not that I can think of, no, I, you know, it's, all my questions were answered on the blog, you know, reading about it and all that. Yeah, true that. It's funny because I've already filmed an episode going around talking about all the mods and stuff, so it's not out yet, but it'll be like... Yeah, no, I've, seen all, I've seen all the episodes of you installing the mods as well. <laughs> yeah, true that. <laughs> That's kind of funny whenever you document it, you know, it's like people are like, okay, this was done properly kind of thing. <laughs> so you know a lot of like, you know, TLC was put into that bike and everything was done properly. I'm glad it's going to you, man. I'm stoked to have it. Somebody that has an appreciation for it, you know. That's funny, your girlfriend saying like, <laughs> it's like, he makes me watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, just, you know, slowly get acclimated to it. Like I said, be careful in the turns. And uh, yeah, I haven't had a problem with it since the day I bought it. So man, it'll it'll treat you well. Looks good, though. This thing's a monster. Yeah. Dude, it's that's, a monster. It's the same exact thing I said when I first test rode it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, it's a monster. It's a freaking beast. Did you see that first test ride video? I did. Yeah. I did catch the first test ride. And I'm just so happy to ha finally have it. Dude, congrats. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, man. It's like you never think about it. You ever want to get rid of it. Just want to keep it forever. It's, I mean, it's funny. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in a weird situation, you know, with running the channel. And I oh. never, I never... Oh, you alright? Yep. Happens to all of us. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. I stalled that bike out too the first time I rode it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Except I stalled it right here at this corner. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I first bought that, you know, like I knew that they weren't going to make the, the S version of it anymore. And uh, so I bought it, you know, thinking like, okay, this is going to be, you know, a limited model. And like, I'll just hold on to it. I'll pay it off and just never get rid of it. Until so like, you got to the point where it's like, all right. It's weird to think that the uh, the bike was holding me back, you know? Yeah, but, this bike holding you back? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's kind of strange to think about it like that, but, you know, like the, the position okay, yeah, I'm in. The, yeah, the direction you want it to go to, I mean, it's definitely understandable. Yeah. I didn't want to work on it more and like devalue it, you know? I would rather somebody have it like yourself and appreciate it for what it is. Oh man, I love it just the way it is. I'm happy to hear it, dude. So for all those naysayers out there, there you go. Just the way it is. Brian bought the Loretta S and he appreciates it for what it is. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to work it out, man. I don't mind getting as much time as I can riding this. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I had to put it on a trailer for four hours. Right, right back to Miami. So uh, you have an Instagram where people can follow you? Yeah, well, my Instagram is uh, B-R-Y-Sneaks, that's B-R-Y, and S-N-E-A-K-S, B-R-Y-Sneaks. Awesome, I'll post it up on the screen and put it down Sweet. in the description as well. So if you guys want to follow him, I'm sure he'll be posting up plenty of pictures of the Lowrider S. And uh, I will definitely be following you just to see, continue to see pictures of it. All right, well, there you go, guys. B-Rest Sneaks. <laughs> you guys be sure to go follow him. Yeah, you got to lean it to the right a little bit. <laughs> I see. I it's see pretty, that. <laughs> it's pretty low. It's pretty low. Oh, man. It's two monsters right there. Right? It's cool to be able to ride with you. <laughs> yeah, man, it was great. No, I, I was looking forward to it. I'm like, man, I really hope I get to ride with Blockhead at least, at least for a couple minutes. Yeah. That was great. Oh, yeah. Well, congrats, man. Like I said, you guys be sure to go follow him. Links right here and in description below. And, uh... Yeah, we'll follow the journey of the Lowrider S through you now, man. Just a legacy I'll be following. <laughs> Start up a motovlog, man. All right.
Until next time, you guys ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch y'all later. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>